John here. Electricians need to know. Transistor tester. Okay. Years ago, '82, I think, in the around '80, I built a cart lock logic system. It was an Allen Bradley cart lock system uh, as a dispatch for Tomorrowland Skyway and Fantasyland Skyway to dispatch every 15 seconds on the Skyway. Okay. So along about 82 somewhere, I was in Indianapolis on vacation and my, my wife, my, my, my wife's mother's house, my boss calls and my mother-in-law says, they want you. I said, nobody knows I'm here. So anyway, I pick up the phone, it's my boss. He said, the dispatch system in the Tomorrowland Skyway is screwed up. It's dispatching every four to six seconds. So I said, uh, okay. He says, when will you be home? I said, we have a flight Saturday morning. This was Wednesday. He says, come to the park as soon as you land. I said, okay, I'll call you as soon as I land. Okay. So I get to the, get to John Wayne International and I call my boss and said, I just got my car. I'm headed to the park. Get a digital voltmeter uh, over to the Skyway dispatch in Tomorrowland, and I will be there in 15 minutes. So anyway, I get there, and um, I had driving privileges, so I drove around the park and I parked behind the uh, America Sings actually, and ran upstairs in the back and over to the Skyway. So. Uh, my boss standing there and an electric uh, sound tech with a digital voltmeter. So anyway, we didn't have too many digital voltmeters back then, no, just a few. So anyway, uh, this is 82. So I grab the digital voltmeter and I check the output. It was powered down, by the way. Check the output of the dispatch system. Uh, and it looked good. Everything checked okay. So I pulled the output card, turned on the power to the power supply. So I pulled the output card so it wouldn't affect the Skyway dispatching. So anyway, I start troubleshooting the power supply. I turned it on DC 12 volts, checked the power supply, perfect DC 12 volts. I double checked it by turning it on to AC and checking the power supply to see the ripple and wow, I got 110 volts AC. I said, oh shoot. Now this power supply had four big transistors in it. They're about the size of a nickel or a quarter, somewhere in there. So um, I thought, oh shoot, one of those transistors or more or, t or two of those transistors are shorted. So I called Ted Schumacher. He was our go-to tech for ride control systems. So I called Ted. Ted, where are you? He says, I'm in this uh, sound department at the 500 building in, in uh, the radio room. I said, I got a shorted transistor on my power supply at dispatch. He says, which transistor is it? I said, I don't know. He said, which one's the hottest? I put my finger on the first one. It was fine. It was hot, but it was fine. The second one, fine. It was hot. I, I unplugged it before I did this. The third one, it was scalding hot. It almost blistered my finger. And the fourth one, was it was fine too. So it was so hot, but it was okay. So I, call, I called him back on the radio. I says, it's number three. He says, well, bring me the power supply and we'll pop it out real quick. So brought him the power supply, put it on the bench. He popped it out. It was just a push-in. He popped it out and we snapped in the good one. And he says, um, now you have a power, now you have a transistor tester. If it's cold, that means it's open. If it's burning hot, that means it's shorted compared to the rest of them. So I looked at my finger and I thought, yeah, okay, I, I have a transistor tester now. So anyway, I've been using Ted's, Ted Schumacher was his name. I've been using his transistor tester now for 40 years. Ted passed a few years ago, and and that was sad, but I still use his transistor tester. Now, all of you have his transistor tester, so good luck.